One of the things that I would say um, is that you've got to be the change that you want to see, yeah. right? And, and oftentimes others will emulate the change that you've made in your own personal life, in your professional life. Um, but I think um, it's a concerted effort that has to be made continuously. Um, and as I stated earlier, when we talked about the self-reflection and the self-introspection, that's where it all starts um, to get the gumption, to, to get the intestinal fortitude to push forward yeah. when you know that you've reached a place of complacency, when you know that you've reached a place of mediocrity, and you know that there's something more to life than you. Yeah. So once you get to that place, I think that's where you start to see everything open up in terms of possibilities um, for you and the niche that you've created based upon your training at Walden as a doctoral student, um, your um, educational experience, your um, frame of reference, all of that coupled together um, aligned with uh, bridging the gap or bridging practitionership or theory with practice. Uh, because that's really what it's all about. When you have been trained to think a different way and not settle for mediocrity, then the only way that you have to go is outside of that space. So for me, um, I think it started for me um, from a very young age. Um, I knew that I wanted to make a difference. Um, uh, from a very young age, I had a very bold vision. I said to myself, and I, rem I remember speaking about this with my, one of my siblings, that I think about the age five, I knew that I wanted to go to school till where school ends. Uh, at that time, I did not know what that meant or what form you take. I just said, I'll go to school till the end of school. Uh, yeah. And so today, I have a PhD, and supposedly, that's the end of it. Yeah. But from that age, oh, no. I knew that that's where I'll go to that. And whatever form it took, I just knew that. So I think all through my life, I've always had a bold vision. I told myself, and I keep telling even my students, that dream big, dream so big that you can't accomplish it. And then uh, put the plans in action and see how much, much you accomplish. So all through my life, I think I have kept that vision in front of me, and it has resulted in many of the works that I've done now, uh, the places I've gone to. I teach at six international universities. I sit on a committee for WHO, and I come from a small little town in Cameroon where we probably don't even have one stoplight, you know, and we probably know every single person that lives in there. But from a very young age, I always had a bigger vision for myself. And then the other thing that I do, I surrounded myself with people that were positive. Because uh, like with so many of us, and even myself, when I keep hearing all the negative thoughts, um, it is just as contagious as the positive thoughts. So I had to surround myself deliberately with people that who speak faith-filled uh, faith, uh, words over me, encouraging me, telling me I could do this. <laughs>